I am Rohit from Discover Telly. Today we learn and talk about how to enter sales vouchers. In sales vouchers, we do all transactions related to sales, including cash and credit sales. Before doing anything else, we have to configure our voucher type. I go to account info, voucher type. We have one voucher type in default. We'll be using that sales. So the name of the voucher type is here. It comes under sales. We can have an abbreviation. It can be something like SL tax invoice, SL50. After that, we have voucher numbering, method of voucher numbering. Automatic means the numbering is done automatically. And automatic with manual override means, for example, if the last voucher done is 10, I can manually override the new voucher to maybe 25. And of course, the next voucher number will be 26. So manual, you know, uh, you have to put the manual numberings. Multi-user auto. It means that in a multi-user environment, if two people have opened a sales invoice, we see that both the sale vouchers will be having same number on different clients. The person who saves first gets that number and the person who saves subsequently gets the next number. None of course means that there is no voucher numbering. Let me choose automatic. Use advanced configuration. It shows starting number, number from which the voucher numbering has to be done. Width, of course, number of fields available. We want to have till six digits or eight digits field. Prefill with zero means the empty space on the left side are prefilled with zeros. Again, next year, if you want to start restart numbering, we have the option here. And here we can have a suffix, something like ABC slash 16.17. In the voucher, it will show ABC slash 16.17 and the voucher number. Same is the suffix details. Use effective dates for vouchers. It means that we get an option for putting another date, which will be computed while taken into account and due date report is being generated. So it is nothing else and another date from where we calculate or compute the aging report or the due date report. Make this voucher type as optional means that whatever entry is done into this voucher type is not posted into the books of accounts. Something like quotation which we issue. Allow narrations in voucher, of course. If you want to have narrations, you can have this as yes. Provide narrations for each ledger. It means for all the ledgers which you choose in that sales voucher, another space is provided next to it to give narration for that. Print voucher after saving. That means we can do the printing only if we save this invoice the moment we save this invoice the printing field comes it automatically prints after saving the voucher default title this title is printed on the top of the sales invoice it can be something like retail invoice default bank if we want to put the bank details or the ifsc and the bank account number at the bottom of my sales invoice i choose so if i choose hdfc bank the details of hdfc bank will be printed at the bottom default jurisdiction if we enter the name of the city here the line subject to city jurisdiction is printed at the bottom use as tax invoice this means that this invoice is used where you ought to have tin number and you are selling to a customer who is going to do trading like who is going to have the input credit so to any commercial establishment which you sell and they are using this purchase as a trading purchase use as tax invoice is checked as yes set alter declaration i can of course the standard declaration i can 
modify or edit this declaration here. Here we can create a class. Class is sort of environment in which a particular shape of voucher template is made. For example, retail. Here at the top, we have exclude these groups and include these groups. It means that the following groups will be excluded while entering the customer while choosing the customer in my sales invoice so uh, otherwise i might have about 500 ledgers but out of those actually my sunday data of the customers are about 300 so the list of 300 will come as per my configuration here if i choose sales 13.5 percent and I put this as no, then any entry being done in this sale invoice will be posted to the sale account 13.5%. If I want that this entry should go as per the uh, ledgers defined in my items, then I place this as yes. Now what will do is it will override this sales to 13.5% and check what has been defined in that particular item at the bottom we can have output vat output vat 13.5 percent so we have made a class let me show you how this class will show while making a voucher so for sales i press f8 it asks me whether i want to choose this choose this class i choose retail template has been created here I sell to customer one item one piece you see actually in this item I had mentioned by pressing control and enter I go, go to item master I had mentioned that this item is of sales 13.5% and item 2 is 5% so multiple VAT rates like item 1 is of 13.5 item 2 is of 5% and it has applied the VAT rates as I have configured my items one more issue arises sometimes we want to have multiple series of billings for example we want to have a retail series and we want to have tax invoice series so what we do is we go to accounts voucher types and we create tax invoice or you can name it as per your requirement i choose sale sl it can be tax automatic numbering tax invoice I check it is to be used as tax invoice again I want to make a class So now I go to the vouchers, accounting vouchers and F8, I choose the tax invoice and the class also. So here again customer 1, I choose and make the sales vouchers as I had earlier shown you. So today. I showed you how to make class in sales vouchers, what are the different fields available in voucher types and how I will do my billing. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Discover Tally for more such informative videos. Thanks.